Hello. How are you? How is everyone? How we doing? Hello. I listen, I'm considering it now. Listen, the plan is that I'm just going to be giving Eric so much money. <sighs> oh no, not even. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'm thinking, like, okay, that's... Hmm. 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 Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, uh, hold on. I, hold on. I can't just show you this Google search because it's not safe. It, uh, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Um, oh no, oh no, oh no, there's so much porn, oh there's so much porn, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, um, just, uh, just imagine something like, hmm, hmm, Hmm. Um, like this, but like with the with the school jacket instead of a shirt. It's fine. Just just that. But it's but it's me. Thanks, Windows Security. Oh. Uh, listen, I'm just thinking about things for to become a true crazy VTuber person. Oh boy. Okay. Hi. Hello. Spooky, thank you for the tier one for 39 fucking months. That's so many months. That's so many months. Oh my lord. That's so, so many months. F the headmistress Flora from League. Yep. Yep, 100%. Yep. Yep. 100% that. 100% that. 100% that. 100%. 110%. That's 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 what I'm thinking. Maybe not the scarf, but you get the gist. Holy shit. Oh my lord. Uh, I d <laughs> in the sense of like you simp a VTuber or in the sense that you want to become a sexy VTuber because both are valid it's true notices it is not Saturday it's true it's not Saturday um, I'm put doodle fort on for today because I have a family thing tomorrow, and I only found out about it uh, when I rescheduled. So, <laughs> anyway, so jokes on all of you. Joke, jokes on all of you. Hi, Evie. Jokes on all of you. Today I get to compliment all of you constantly. It's gonna be great, Evie. Stop it. Not right now. I was giving you attention all before stream, and I will give you attention after stream. But if you're gonna be a little bitch like this, hey women, I am considering. Um, how's volume? By the way, I know this is a ridiculous fucking song. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, good. I hmm. Oh, I'm glad, Wayman. That sounds really cute. 
I'm glad you're getting sleep. Okay, so I'm gonna just actually remove this song because it hurts my brain. And it, I don't, yeah. I, I added more songs to my GDQ playlist, so we're going through them. There's now a lot of songs here. So there's that. You're fine, Lime. I get it. You're still learning. So what's the matter? Anyway, so Chad, do you know how long it's been? Chad, do you know how long it's been? You know how long it's been? We've been doing Doodle Fort for four fucking years. Four years, y'all. Four freaking years. Four mm, freaking years. It's ridiculous, honestly. Honestly, it's ridiculous. And I'm here to tell all of you where you've improved and where you might want to continue to try to practice. Because you usually most people will sit there and be like, oh man, I haven't improved in so long. I feel like I'm not improving. But then they don't ever take the time to go back and like look at their old art and, s and see what they've actually been improving on. And so I'm gonna make you guys, I made you guys look back at your old art to be like, look how much you fucking improved. Look at it. Look how much you've improved. Seriously. 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 And, and I would like, I would actually like to pick my, um, hold on one second. Uh, I need a reference for something first because I'm picking. Y'all don't get to pick who goes first. I'm just, I'm just going for it. Evie, stop it. Stop. Okay. So. 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 First and foremost, did you know that there's a crab in a cab? Plushie coming out. There is. It's great. Honestly. Honestly. Honestly great. Eh. And I also have a cat hair in my mouth. That is not coming out. Eh. Yeah, crab in a cap. Hold on. So this is frog in a car, right? <laughs> Give me a second. I crested. If you notice... Let's see. This was his video. Okay, so frog in a car. Crab in a cab! Crab in a cab! Crab in a cab! Grand Theft Auto 3 Sorry. Changed the landscape Evie hit the, the back button. Crab in a cab! Crab. 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 Crab and Cabe. Anyway. Anyway. So, 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 so. Hi, Jordy. I know you're in the Discord. Can we talk about how much Jordy has improved? Chat. Can we talk about how much Jordy has improved? Hmm? Look, I mean, how do you think... I mean, looking at this, how would you say that Jordy has improved? How, how, how would you say that Jordy has improved? Hmm? Hmm? Perspective, that is one of them. I would also argue shape language. Colors, yes, that too. It is. I would say color. I would say shape language. Um, I would still say that shape language could use a little bit more. Simply because while it kind of feels like this is a little bit more flat, 
Evie, I don't know why you're just attacking everything like it's some weird animal. You're being weird. Um, I would still say that this is at an angle that some parts might not line up a little bit. I would actually argue that it seems like you went for a side view. Which, oh my god, the freaking The liquify tool in, in Clip has been fantastic. I think, at least in my opinion... Thank you, Evie, you're very helpful right now. Okay, we'll do a before and after, actually. Okay, so... Now you have a little bit more of that perspective and you have to keep in mind that things are coming into the foreground more than you might realize. So the reality of what this is here, right, is when you're looking straight at the car, for example, right, this bumper is doing this, okay? Whereas with the original, it feels like it's sort of coming down and doing one of... Ugh, fuck, how do I say put this in a 3D perspective? So you have the car. Okay, here's the wheel. It feels more like it's kind of doing one of these sort of thing. Like if this was a wheel and this was a wheel and this and this was a wheel, it sort of feels like it's doing more of that. And so going in and just making sure that your shapes are laying on top of one another. Liquify is so nice. It's one of the few brushes that like they haven't had, but Photoshop has. And most people have been like, you know, I like clip and all, but I wish it had a liquify. And it made like a lot of people move to clip. Honestly, honestly. So you need to make sure that your shapes are layering on top of one another. So in this case, if you imagine a bumper, okay, if you break it down into tubes that are laying on top of one another, you can then go, okay, well then there's a tube here and a tube here and a tube here. And now suddenly it's going off into the background. Does that make sense? This is why I tell you guys to break everything down into shapes because it matters. It'll teach you everything you need to know about art is breaking things down into shapes when they are a sketch. I'm also working pretty destructively with this. So don't worry too, too much if it just kind of looks a little jank. Oh, that's some music. Amnesia. That's fun. <laughs> so now we have this versus that. Um, I also am going to go ahead and pull up the frog in a car reference. Right. And as long as you need to use multiple references as well, I think. Because if you notice from this angle, because I know the picture that you used was from the side. If you notice from this angle, these shapes right here actually poke out a little bit. And so it would be potentially in interest to make sure that those shapes read in that same sort of style. because they have a little bit poking out on the other side. Even if this isn't what your reference did, that's not the point. The point is, is that you're trying to get across that this is a tiny little car. You do not need to be 100% on reference all the time. What you need is to be able to convey to the viewer what they are looking at. So now we have that sort of shape hobby yeah it is a little bit of a weird shape 
I will say it is kind of confusing to try to work around. And I say that having drawn this car <laughs> because I've drawn this car multiple times for Gerard. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a bean, but also not really. And like the wheels fuck up sometimes. It's weird. It is very lovely, though. A very good toy. Um, you can also see, having looked at this version, that this isn't exactly a wheel, so to speak, and it's the exact same as this. So really, all you need to do is, again, with shape language, is just kind of poke this in a little bit. And then reshape it so that it looks more like that shape from the side. And you could do that in both sides. Because again, we're going from this. We're not going from just what's in your brain because there is no wheel, right? This is learning to use reference to draw what you see instead of what you think you see. And then going over here, this is learning to use reference to make sure that the viewer sees the same thing you do. Any questions so far? Dear, drive the frog in the car. Frogger in the car. I'm also going to point out that I'm not saying really much of anything about this frog because it's a fucking good frog. Honestly, I would like to check one thing because I know you, Jordy, and I'm sorry. Hold on. This was a reference. Okay. It was not traced. Chad, it was not traced. At least not fully. It was not fully traced. Which is fantastic, which is good. It's fantastic and lovely. Good thing. Um, I will say... There are some parts that are a little bit... Between the two... Different shape-wise. Right? So, if you notice from your reference, a lot of the parts are very rounded. Yeah, it's been going for a while. And honestly, I would say that's another sort of just shape, learning shape language thing, so to speak. Because if you literally just round out what you have, it's absolutely fine. I also really like that you did actually add the second eye back here. You tried here, but I don't think you fully understood like where the eye placement is because in the car itself, it winds up with the frog looking this way instead of the way he's supposed to with this one. But with this one, he's obviously like going this way sort of thing. And I think a lot of that is also just the fact that you used reference and I think it's great. I don't think I don't have all that much to say, really. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, no. I've apparently seared my uh, not safe for work Disney pieces in Nicole's brain. Oh, that's great. Okay, so, any questions? Around the front, it's true. Hi, Scaredy. Thank you for the raid. You could have raided Barry. We're just doing Doodle Fort, you dingus. How frog so good is frog? <laughs> that is answer, is frog. Well, thank you for the raid, Scaredy. Man, I need to commission some more alerts. I want to get... I am at a point in my stream where I'm very happy with it. But I just want to go 
Like, one step further, I think. It's like one little step further, I think. Anyway, so, these are the changes that I made to Frog in a Car so far. That's it. That's literally all the changes. I didn't change the color of things. I didn't change most of the frog. There you go. That's all you get. Okay, no worries, Scaredy. I, I know that feeling. <laughs> Having thrown up on stream multiple times, it's great. Um. So. I think going for Jordy, I think you've done really well. I mean, I'm gonna probably say that about most people. I'm gonna be very clear about that because everyone's been improving a lot. I would say still practice stacking shapes, I think. And just perspective, really, because the car fe felt at first like it was very much in, like, this sort of perspective, and then Frog was here, even though it was still, like, leaning this way. Whereas in the edit, we have it's trying to be more like this, even though it's a little bit like up front. But I'm hoping to see more of it from you, honestly. Let me just can I can I get some claps in the chat, please? Some claps, claps, some hyper claps or snaps or whatever the fuck you feel like. Please and thank you. I know we hyper snap here, but it might not be all that safe for Twitch. <laughs> okay. So that is one. I also am going to really quick do one other thing. Okay. Oh, not an image. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put all of these into Doodle Ford as well. Uh, just for reference, so that maybe if you want or if you feel like it, you can go back and be like, wow, I've improved or use that as an excuse to practice shape language or whatever the fuck you want. Okay, trying to think. Real quick, does anyone need to leave before we finish today? Let me just, oh, shit, I shouldn't do that actually. My, my wedding ring will just hit on the tablet and it'll sound terrible. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, I'm, wait a minute, are you, are you trying to say that you're gonna... Can you help me? I have 20 years of mess one to determine to fight a Gondor Lens boss. The trick to the Kingdom Hearts is switched. Every time I think I'm getting close to beating it, there's a brown and yellow X-Men voice with Dolan and Goofy that I keep trying to figure out and trying to die. Uh, ask Gam. Gam would know. Also, yeah, I'd scratch my tablet, which is not great. So I'll just one-handed slap my, slap my tablet. I would ask Gam, because Gam would know that fight better than I have, because I haven't played Kingdom Hearts in years. Also, have you tried Googling it? Okay, I- sorry, I- I still have this open, and I'm just like, alright, let me just save this to my desktop for later reference. Uh, okay. You know what? Sorry, women. Hey, hi, women. Hi. First and foremost, this image was huge. <laughs> when I was pulling these together, this one was huge. Um. Secondly, good fucking job on finding references that aren't bad. Honestly, finding a reference from an actual like tournament. Good fucking job. Like seriously. 
This one's a lot more staged. This one's great. This one is good. This one is fantastic. Honestly, this one. This one is from an actual tournament. You can see the people in the back. So this is a realistic fucking pose of someone actually doing the thing. Mm okay, gotcha. No idea. Also this one. This one's also from a fucking tournament. So that's really, really good. These are the kind of references that you want to find. Ones that are actually not staged in most cases. They're not super extremely lit in most cases, or they're like photo perfect, so to speak. Like whenever you look up a female face, let's say. So if you look up for reference, like the female face, every single one of these has makeup on. So you're not going to be able to understand 100%. And like, it's eye stock, sort of like, well lit, soft lighting sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. And it's not going to help you at all, really. This would probably be decent, but it just... <laughs> Most of these are just perfectly staged and lit and crap. And they don't make good references. They don't make good lighting references. They don't make good color references because they're changed to hell. Um, technically, this is a very staged one, but I don't mind it because I think I know why you were using it. So it's fine. Okay, so. 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 Chat, what would you like to compliment Wayman on? Real fast before I get to this. Hands, feet, or hair powdered wigs. I find it nice to start covering everyone. Feet, probably, because they're weird long hands and I still have trouble with them. The joints and limbs are shapely. It's true, there's actual joints in it. Also, women, you're allowed to compliment yourself too. Just so you know. Everyone's allowed to compliment themselves. Positioning is way fucking better it doesn't look like this one is about to stab the other one the poses are a lot more dynamic because the only reason <laughs> well i mean that's good that's the point though right because when you think about it this way when you drew this one you probably thought it was the coolest shit that you have ever fucking drawn. And you were probably pretty proud of it, and you probably showed other people. Or if you were awkward about it, then you were at least proud of it and were like, Oh man, yeah, this is, this is real fucking good. Oh man, I fucking love it, man. More than likely. A am, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Can't. <laughs> Can we real quick talk about how I noticed this when you first posted it, but the hand was backwards and then you realized it and raised it? <laughs> Which, good on you for realizing it. Most people don't at that young of an age. Like, in their art career, I mean. Good on you. Okay. So. I think we've killed women. I think they're face down in their desk going... <laughs> so, it's great. That's the plan. Okay. So. Real quick, I want to check... Some things to proportion wise, so give me a second. So, if you remember. The line from here to here 
should be about the same length as the line from there to the top. Because that is how proportion works. Your basically from here to here should be the same length as here to your heel. And so I'm going to just it's a little short, but I'm not going to worry that much about it because of two things. It's short by about this much, but that's OK, because this foot is coming towards the camera for one. So I understand the perspective and his head is also pointed down. So I get it and it doesn't have to be exact, but it's fairly fucking close. I'll be honest, especially compared to this arm being this short. For example. Yeah, for shortening. I would say the only issue that I have with that is these two seem to be on the same plane, but this one is not foreshortened at all. So I would almost want to do that and then maybe do like a little bit of that so that they're basically on about the same plane so to speak even if they're not the same height at least like this foot is also coming forward because these two feet seem to be in the same sort of area um i would say i do like this sword i don't know so much about this one just because this wound up looking like an edge, so it kind of looks more like you have this going on instead of it being more of a sword. You're good. That's uh, honestly, I'm happy that you're thinking about story in most cases more than, you know, not thinking about it. I would also say I don't think this needs to come towards the camera at all. Because for the most part, I think it's absolutely fine that it's basically him standing here and then you have an arc here and an arc this way. So it's a very nice sort of balance to everything. I don't think it needs to be foreshortened and brought towards the camera whatsoever, however. So let me just, whoop, I made that not straight. Oh no. Yeah, it's a tough angle, honestly, and I get it. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Poses are fucking hard, man. Um, so I would say I feel like it'd be worth it to maybe practice on some weaponry because I think you have the basic idea of what a sword looks like, but I don't know if you actually know what a sword looks like, if that makes sense. Um, let's just say it's a katana. Okay. So pull up. <laughs> this is going to be a shit katana. Um, because it will be from Japan or from Amazon, but that's fine. I uh, actually hold on. Triple Japanese. This would actually be a Dao. Got it. Shitana. Okay, so if it's a Dao, which is a Chinese sword, um which I don't think it is because this is a Dao and the handle is completely different and I feel like it was going for Katana so to speak and I only say that because of the handle wrapping No, you're good. You're good. Okay. So if we're going for a Dao, I would say the shape would be fine, but the handle's wrong. 
And then if you're going from Bleach, it's a katana. Yeah. So, a couple things about katana. One, they're extremely thin. They're very, 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 very thin. Okay. I know what you're talking about. It's, it's... Because there's multiple versions of the katana. There's the longer they get, they have different na names. There's the katana, then there's a much longer version of it. Max would know what this is. Um, then there's the spear version, which is a naginata. You also have a smaller version, and then the knife version of a katana. Um, <sighs> fuck. Awaza Wakizashi? Wakizashi? I think, maybe? Because one was, yeah, the Wakazashi was the smaller one in most cases, yeah. So, Kodachi? Kodachi. Kodachi? I think that's an in-between of what I'm thinking, but yes, y'all would be right. Um, anyway, so... You, hilariously, well, I mean, I, you found thousands of good references. You have no sort of references. Um, and so because of that, you wound up having what looks more like a piece of like metal that wound up getting attached to this. So let's just do this real quick before I do anything else. Okay. Raise that. No, I get you. 100%. Do you want a really, really nice trick to drawing a katana facing towards the camera? Or any sword or any shape, really. Okay. Ah, shit. That's fair. I 100% I hundred percent understand that. Okay, bear with me. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. So. But dear, I don't know how to draw that thing from that angle. You sure, bro? Are 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 are, are you sure, bro? Are are you sure? Are, are, are you sure? Are you sure you don't know how to draw that thing from that angle? Because all you have to do is figure it out somewhat. And then you go, oh, wow. So then it'd be like, woo, and this, and then still a blade. Wow. Wow. Anyway, so the point that I'm getting at here is that Maybe look up sword reference. Honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with just practicing some swords as well. I will say. Um, I would also just be careful of where to hold said swords because the only reason they're holding their swords this high up is because they're holding them two-handed. If you would like to have a good grip on a sword, you want just a little itty bitty bit of space because you want the balance of the sword itself. And most of the balance is in the tang, right? And if you don't know what a tang is, it's the piece of metal that goes down into here that they attach the handle to. So. 
you basically want your balance to be right about in here. And so if you bring your hand back just a little bit, you have a little bit more of... Not range of motion. That's not the word I'm thinking of. But we'll go with range of motion to work with it. Okay. Second guy. Honestly, this face versus this face? Holy shit. Holy shit. I, I absolutely have watched all of it, Crested. So, one thing I would worry about. His elbow is here. And his other elbow is here. I would honestly say... Maybe just... We'll fix it in a second. Just bring his hand down some so that he has some room. Oh boy. Liquify, you're being mean to me. Because his elbow is not going to be in his boob area. I would also even say that <laughs> just to give him a little bit more room to breathe because you wind up having this very very short sort of arm that Honestly, it needs to be fixed more than what I'm doing. I'm just trying to explain to you that the arms connect at the bottom of the rib cage. Like that's right about where your elbow is. And his rib cage does not end up here. It ends like here, ish or so. I would actually even argue that this arm is a little too long. Okay. I'm just kind of tweaking things a little bit more. Don't mind me. I would also maybe say that his ba sense of balance needs to be a little bit stronger. I would bring this foot back more because most of his weight is going to be resting on this foot for the most part. And if he's just sitting there like you kind of sitting in a chair, you're just going to fall backwards. Really. There's nothing that's going to stop that. Make sense? Any questions? So I would say maybe practice proportion in different poses other than, you know, this one sort of thing. Well, the upper arm, yes. The upper arm would absolutely be hidden more. Unless his arm is doing this, in which case you wouldn't even see most of this for the most part. But it's not. It's been just kind of dropped right here sort of thing so it winds up that his elbow looks like it goes from here to here to here sort of thing whereas with this i'm trying to just make it a little bit longer and if you wanted to hide the arm more it would need to be back here and you would need to have the fist like there so let's just try that real quick hold on Come on, hand. Moving time. Let's go. Ooh. 
It would be something more similar to like that. Because when your arm is down, like, and moving backwards by your rib cage, you're not going to see the top of the arm. You're not really going to see a lot of it because it's doing this. Well, it's doing this sort of thing. Anyway. Um... Other than that, I sort of feel like they're good poses. The poses you picked were good, Glamin. Shocking, I know. Other than that, I would say that maybe I think, and I know part of it is my fault. I think the focal point's maybe a little bit too extreme on like the foot and stuff. And so maybe... No, I fucked it up. Hold on. I would just like things to be a little bit more in proportion because you have a very flat on sort of camera angle. Okay. Also, honestly, just color choice in general. Color choice in general for this, like, damn. I know the first was in, was in black and white, but the choice of color for this comparatively to some of the other stuff you've made, like, damn. Okay. Any questions from anybody, not just women? Yeah, a little bit. They're a little bit classic colors. <laughs> of course, my... Why wouldn't they be? I think the background might be a little bit weird being green and blue and yellow, but like other than their color choices, I think it's fine. Why do you think most anime protagonists are in bright colors and then the moody, edgy partner is usually in dark blue? Yes, they would. Um. So, this would probably just be fully in, in shadow in the most part. Um, the shadow would actually be over here for this one. And it would be so, like, almost non-existent because it's so much in the light for how you're shading that I wouldn't even really worry about it. So. Although I'm realizing that you're treating this as the light source because it's going this way and this way, but that's a whole other story. We're not going to worry about that one right now. Uh. Yeah, I mean, okay. I would practice maybe some weapon studies to get the general gist of, like, how swords work in three dimensions. I would maybe say... Just practice some poses to try to get the anatomy right. Like, they don't need to be a finished piece. They don't need to look like this at all. They can they can literally just be, like, a sketch. Like, meh. And then you sit there and you're like, okay, well, this actually needs to be, like, down to here. And then the arm would be here because proportion and etc, etc, etc. I mean, yeah, probably. But if you feel like making that goal for yourself, go for it. Okay. Um, who all is here? Hi, Crested. Hi. Hi. So, 
crested. I believe this was made for our weapons uh, creation. Yeah. So I remember seeing this. No, maybe don't remember. I remember seeing this before. Um, so a couple things. I do like that you understand more what an actual scale kind of looks like, which is nice. I I really like that you added hands, I will also say. It was a D&D &D idea? I could have sworn it was for also, like, weapon concepting. Hold on. Well, no, I wouldn't be able to go back and look at it. It's fine. So, I like that you added hands. I like that there's a lot to it. I will say it does feel a little bit like a sketch, though. Comparatively. The fist looks fantastic, honestly. There's a very small amount of things that I want to change with this fist. And it's not a lot of things. It is literally just the fact that... This needs to be... Here here and there and then because of that the fingers need a little bit of space between them that's it oh yeah no worries if it got deleted i get it i just i'm asking because if it didn't get deleted and there was another reason i'd be like mm, quested why are you doing that why are you doing that that's about the only thing i would change Oh, God. This is about the only thing I would change, really. Um, and then maybe just, like, the size of your pinky, because your pinky is very large. I just realized, fuck, hold on. Okay. So your pinky is kind of large. But for the most part, the hand is fucking good. Um, I would also say that maybe some of the fingers over here are a little bit meh, but the hands are fucking hard. And we did just do a whole thing on hands, so like, I get it. Yeah. It's all fun. Hands are so fucking fun. Hands are very hard. Um, design-wise, I would say I still think these are very, very good. I think you lost a little bit from here to here, though. Because I really do think that having them be actual sort of starlight helps a good amount, I think. Um, I'm trying to think. You you did flesh out as well, if you notice. You probably didn't even think about this. You did flesh out that this isn't just a single piece anymore. It actually has, like, depth to it, which is really nice. It actually feels like it has weight and matters, so to speak. Comparatively to this just kind of being, like, an additive piece to the whole thing overall. This color of gold is, or brass, is way nicer than this one as well, I will say. Gotcha. So then, like... <laughs> that? No, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell, don't worry. I can tell because you've used eyes in this entire design. 
it, it, it is fairly low passive. It's at like 21%. Yeah, no, it's obvious that it's an eye. Like, the idea that it comes up and creates sort of this aura around you is pretty nice. I would say, going from the fact that you were going to overlay it, I feel like it would actually have been worth it to just do... Hold on. Let's just do this real fast. I feel like it would have been worth it to do something to the effect of like this, simply because it feels nice to have him be like a little dude that's hanging out over your hand now, right? As well as giving it the power that it has. So it 100% exists within the weapon, but because the weapon is on your hand, he exists in that area, so to speak. I mean, the same can be said with like this. So, I mean, you know, same, same. <laughs> um, I don't want to get too rough into that because, like you said, you did lose a lot of your work on this, or you did lose the file at least. And so it's not fair for me to be like, well, this is unfinished and blah, 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 blah. Um, I do actually think I like a little bit more like that this has soft edges on this side. And so maybe just going in and having a little bit, not fully, but like some soft edges, because it is a wispy thing. You know, it's not a solid. Does help. I, I'm gonna say this and it's probably gonna sound really weird. Soft hard edges. So it's like when you take a airbrush and you're just sitting there and you're like doing this it's still a soft edge, so to speak, but it's also still a hard edge. I, I don't, I'm not fully sure. But having a little bit of both just to push that sort of idea that it is wispy and smoky and a lot does, I think, sell it a little bit more than what we had prior, prior to that, so to speak. Um, I do think there's more that you can wind up doing and there's plenty of like good reference out there for what you're wanting. Um, is really just about finding it. Well, I mean, Ismak, this is more like art tutoring, so I, I don't really know how to answer your most of your questions. I'm sorry. This happens once a month, so we do wind up art tutoring here. It's called Doodle Fort. Everyone, and a lot of people take part in it. And it's great. And it's been going for four freaking years, which, holy shit, y'all, y'all have been doing this for four years. I've been doing this for four years. Um, let's see. One thing. You see this little guy right here? If gravity were to exist in this picture, it wouldn't be doing this. It'd be doing that. In both cases, actually. Because if you imagine gravity to always be a force pushing downwards, basically, and if these are going to be, you know, attached in such a way that they dangle and or 
you know, swing to some extent, I would actually say that these need to rotate just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit to account for that. Yeah. Because no matter where you turn, I'm trying to think if I have an example of this. Yeah, I do, actually. We're gonna... God, I hate cameras. Okay, so. Hi, chat. Hey. So, no matter where you turn, that is going to be facing downwards, so to speak. Like, I could sit there and move it as much as I want. This is still going to be pointing downwards. So, for the most part, you need to consider it the same for your drawing. No worries. I would actually say, regardless of if it is ethereal or not, I still think that it would be worth it to have those work with gravity, because otherwise you would potentially have them like doing this shit, and that just kind of doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, so to speak. Okay, so. Any questions? You could also have the chains loose. That is true. There's there's options. So, yeah. Of course. Okay. Um, if you're wondering, I am absolutely going to be posting these maybe to Twitter later. So there's that. Yeah, of course. Alright, let me just... Hmm. Let's get some... For the last two, because I absolutely forgot to give one to... Preston. <laughs> and, 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 and women. Let me just, let me just... Thank you. Okay. Um, this one. Let me just... So one thing, you didn't have to pencil draw it. You didn't want to, and that's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, but it's interesting that you did, if I'm completely honest. So, okay. <sighs> Ooh, sword. Hi. Hi. So obviously, obviously this is a lot. No, that's fair. I get it. Obviously this is a lot. This is way less, but it's also still a lot. Because you wound up having... Well, we'll get to that in a second. First and foremost, chat, 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 chat. Sword, where is where where sword made and improved? Chat. First and foremost, where do, you, where do you think they've improved? Please inform them of all the good ways that they've improved. Also, damn, 2008. I feel old. Pose is interesting, yes. There, there is a couple others. There's, there's shape language, I would say. You can understand more of what's going on. 
The shading is a lot better, that's true. The figure is far more readable, also true. Also, hair game got a lot better. All these things are true. So, I agree to all of these, including the fact that, like, the design itself also got a lot better with being, like, kind of the same. I don't know if it needed to be unobscured, but it was done in a way that makes sense. So, so one thing that does bug me about this is the silhouette is a little bit rough now just because you wound up having the wings inside of the hair. Does that make sense at all? You wound up having this sort of shape that wound up doing... It basically just looks like there's a big shape that looks like this right there. And it's kind of hard to differentiate the two. So, for me at least, I would just kind of pull this down a little bit and just make sure to differentiate the two shapes. There's a reason in most cases that wings tend to, they don't have to be super low on the back. They can be where they are. But I want to differentiate between the shape of the hair that's flowing this way, sorry, this way, and then the wings that are doing this. See what I mean? They, they read more as wings if they're broken up from the hair, at least. Now, you could have the wings be that high. You would just need the hair to be more, like, chopped out, basically, and like, woo, woo, sort of thing, and have it be a separate entity from this. Because when you look at it as a silhouette, you're not going to be able to understand, in most cases, what this is. And we can even look at that right now. Shocking, I know. What is that shape? What is that shape? What, 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 what? what? What is shape? Do you, do you know what this is? Who is that Pokemon? It does, to be fair, it does come off as a bat, to be fair, but not in a decent way. <laughs> Not in a good way. Whereas if you wound up taking some of this and making sort of like an airy, not airy, air filled, I guess would be the correct term, sort of pocket of where her hair is. Because again, her hair is doing this. And so you would like to follow those same lines. It's Pikachu! Yes. 100%. And so now, we're going to wind up with this sort of shape. Which reads a little bit better. Especially if her hair is dark, because then you wind up having lighter skin, which contrasts against the darker hair sort of thing, and gives a break to your eyes for what you're looking at. So, meh, 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 eh, eh, eh. Make sense? So the only other thing I'm going to yell at you about, because honestly, you probably know exactly what's wrong with this in your opinion and how to fix it, and that's fine. Because having improved from this, from this, to this, like, god damn. Yeah, you got to break your eyes, it's true. Basically what that means, because I realize that doesn't make any sense out of context, 
is that when people look at art, if they want art to feel good, they need busy break, busy break, busy break. So you have busy break, busy. There's not going to be a whole lot of detail on the corset. Hopefully it could just be a black corset and that's fine. And just a normal skirt. And then this is busy because they're overlapping one each other, one of each other. It's about giving the eyes a rest because then it lets your eyes follow everything that they need to across a piece. Whereas this, you're like, oh my god, there's so much going here, and I don't hair, and like, okay, this is kind of calm, but oh my god, sort of thing. So the only thing, the only other thing I'm gonna yell you about is your elbows because again your rib cage is here if if your elbows are here these are so fucking long these are so long women <laughs> or maiden sorry my brain i'm tired these are so long Makes sense. Yeah, you got a little bit of the clamp coming through. There's a little bit of clamp coming through. I would also actually say, and this is just mm, from me, if we're going to trace out this person's skull, Yo, why does it look like that? <laughs> Honestly, all you need to do is just tuck in your cheeks. That's it. All you really need to do. And at least, like, anime proportion-wise, you wind up having that sort of shape instead of what we had. Oh yeah, no, I know. That's why I'm not going to yell at you for him. Okay. Any questions? This is going to be an easy ass doodle fort. That's all I'm going to say. Any questions at all? Ugh. Oh man, my back is crunchy today. Dang. I got them crunchy bones. Yeah, shit. Okay. Let me go ahead and just... capture a gif of right here and be like wowie wow wowie wow 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 okay let me close all these close out this go here be like, Meh. hey, Donald. So, I'm gonna be real, Donald. I don't have a whole lot to critique you on, honestly. <laughs> also, yeah, good job, Maiden. Sorry, I. 
I was doing a thing where I was like, compliment people and clap them, but then my brain just took a shit, so here we are. Donald, I don't really have a whole lot to yell at you about. Really, yeah, no. I've watched you develop your style over these couple of months, years, whatever, you know, and there's not a whole lot that I need to yell at you about. There's a few things I'm going to yell at you about, but there's not a lot is what I'm getting at. Would anyone else like to take a crack at what Donald has improved on so significantly? Fucking line work. Yeah, that's the big one. Limb proportions? Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot, a lot, a lot. You're starting to find... I would actually say you're starting to find your style in a way that works with proportion and otherwise. And it's really, really good. Also expression game, yeah. So, I have one question. Is she holding a hand to her chest or is she staring at her hand? It's the only thing I have to ask. What was your intent? Fucking mangaka over here. God, fuck, I'm about to fucking go finish Hunter Hunter for that one artist. Jeez, God, shit. God, fucking Donald showing everybody a fuck up. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Fuck. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pet my cat while waiting. I tried to go for her holding her hand to her chest. Okay. So if that's the case, then I have some notes. I had some notes either way, but I have some notes. This boob is so squish. This boob is so squish, but this one is completely unaffected. So why, why, why is this boob one squish, but the arm does not get squished back, for example. So why is there not like this going on? like some 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 fabricy sort of folds and things not maybe not this extreme but you get the gist okay as well as if there's that many fabricy folds i wouldn't worry too much about that little bit right there i would also maybe just move this because boobs are tend to be not exactly the same size but they tend to be a little bit same, same sizey. Okay, so there's that. It's not the only thing though. I would actually really love for this hand to be just a little bit more rounded around the chest a little bit because currently my concern is because of the lines that you gave it here because in, you wound up oh, how do i put this if we're going to talk about layering shapes this shape is on top of this shape and that's not how it's going it's not how it's meant to be the arm shape is supposed to be here and then there's this arm shape and then there's this arm shape so that it obviously goes around and comes back up if it's not doing that then you wind up having a shape that I just realized I'm drawing over. One second. <sighs> okay. You wind up having a shape um, that reads more as it's kind of sitting in front of you, sort of like you're holding... Okay. Back to a camera, I guess. It reads more that you're doing this instead of, like, having your arm closer in and like holding it to your chest 
You're kind of pulling a Hanada, yeah. Um. So I would actually just take some of this and maybe just curve it around a little bit. Because arms don't need to be straight, you know? They, they, I mean, they need to be somewhat straight, but also not perfectly fucking straight. Because if you draw all your arms straight and all your lines straight, you're just going to wind up having a really stiff fucking character. See what I mean? The difference between that and that? Hi Gwen, welcome to Doodle Fort. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't, I don't have much else to sort of mention other than that. At first, I thought she was like staring off in, in this direction while just kind of holding her hand out in front of her. And I was like, you had a perfect opportunity to hold something right there and put something in that hand, like right here, or have it like this shit something but it makes more sense now so again i would just say keep in mind that you don't need perfectly straight lines for your hands and arms and things it helps to get the general gist down but you mostly want to work with things like curves and stuff Working with straight lines is how you wind up with this. Because this is 100% just meh. Bleh. Sorry. Eh. Eh. And you're like, well, arms are meant to be straight, right? So you make the arms straight. And it's like, no. It's not really. No. Also, hold on. Let me find. a splash art that I can make the example of. Actually, yeah, that works. So. Hey guys, look, it's League of Legends. So you would argue that this arm is straight, yeah? And you would be like, yep, 100% totally straight, right? And and the, rea the truth of the situation is that no, it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not straight. It's actually doing a very lovely little curve. It's actually very curvy. So. Wow. It's, it's the illusion of making something straight when it's not, so to speak. I don't really know how to fully say it. Also, this is a really good example. Where you have a curve here and a curve here. And the reality is that it's not just straight. It's going like this, basically. You have a nice round curve to it. Well, yeah, that's why I switched off of it to something that wasn't perspective. Whereas this, I would argue, is fairly straight. The reason being is because it gives a lovely fucking silhouette of this nice straight sort, not even straight angle. This is still kind of curved, honestly, comparatively to how round and soft this is, giving your eye visually some place to be like, oh, OK, well, this side is like rounder and this is like a little bit more straight sort of thing so you get one and on one side and one on the other and it's visually extremely interesting so there's that so I'm trying to think because this is actually a little hard now hmm honestly Donald the only thing I want to say is maybe do some figure studies I think that might help a lot 
is just doing some more figure studies. Yeah, no, you mix, you're going to use both straight lines and curves. You're going to use straight lines to show rigidity or balance or things like that. You're going to show curves to show fluidity. It's about using both of them. The human body is never going to be made up of just one. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about that is when I talk to you guys about how to draw legs. And I said that this part is straight, this part is round, this part is round, this part is straight. And then you have a knee and there you go. That's how you draw a leg. Literally. It's just literally about being straight and round. Well, then if you know that, then I would say that would be the best place to start. In all honesty, because like. I don't have much else to say. <laughs> Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> All right. Okay. Four. After. All right. Let me just. Yeah, clips. Let me get some clips and chip clips. Yeah, of course. Clap, 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 snap, snap, snap. Yeah. All right. Let me put this here. All right. The final two. I mean, I only have so much I can teach you, man. You, I, I would say I'm interested to see you start doing full illustration but I want you to practice form first. We'll get to that. All right, so obviously, obviously, Mimic. Mimic. What the fuck? This is so good. And also chat, what would you, what would you like to compliment Mimic on? Because there's so many things for me. The fur, that's a big one for me. Fur is fucking hard to draw. It's fucking hard to draw. The paws, I would agree. The biggest one for me, literally the biggest one for me, is that it looks like a bear. It actually looks like a bear. Reference was used, and it looks like a fucking bear. This looks somewhat like a bear. This is a bear. This is an actual bear. This will eat me. This looks like something out of Castle Crashers. This is a bear. A hundred percent, Gwen. hundred and ten percent. So... Honestly, I think that's probably the biggest thing. No, Dr. Bear does stop surgery. <laughs> ah! Okay, so the only thing is that I've drawn a lot of bears in my time. And the reason for that is because I had a D&D &D mount that was a grizzly bear. That's it. That's the only reason. Um, and so because of that, I know some things about bear anatomy. And I'm going to bring up a photo anyway and mention that the nose is not usually on the same plane as the eyes. Um, it's kind of one of my only issues with like your anatomy of a bear. But that's also because I'm anal as hell and I know what bear anatomy is. The bear professor? I think I know what this is. Mm-hmm. Yep, that, yep. It also reminds me of the D&D &D, uh, green text of like, what was it? That he basically had a bear as a character and the bear constantly rolled perfect persuasions. And so everyone was like, oh yeah, so I'm Sir, that's Sir Barrington. Yes, ah, yes, that's Sir Barrington. And then one person later on in the fucking game was, didn't roll and understood, or made the roll and understood that he was not actually an adventurer. He was a fucking bear. 
and was freaking out. And everyone was like, dude, what is wrong with you? I fucking love Sir Barrington. Okay. Let me do the thing that I always forget to do. Okay. So now we kind of see that, like, the nose was a little bit scrunched up in there. A little bit. And he's got to use that nose for eating. Hi, Sar. Not during Doodle Fort, you motherfucker. How dare you? How dare you? Clap because for girl clap? Yeah, we can we can clap. I I thought we did clap for yeah, we clap. We clap for we clap for Donald. It's fine. Anyway, hi hi Sar. Thank you for the tier one subs to count Fraz Moon winning Alpha Dailies, Mr. Guy Tin and Chameleon Tux. I you can't sneak without me noticing. I'm staring at chat, Sar. <sighs> Sar, we talked about um my next VTuber outfit. Would you would you like to see my plan? Uh this for Doodle Fort. Also, when are we playing VR chat? Um, when I get my hernia fixed, probably. Sexy teacher. It, yeah, for Doodle Fort. I know. I also want to buy Elite Motion, but that's in the future. Anyway, I have a lot of each right ideas. Listen, it's fine. Listen, you can be hot for teacher. It's fine. So, a couple things. Yes, very good bear. Snoot needed a little bit of work. That's fine. Um... I would actually argue that maybe his ears should be down here and then maybe he has some fluff behind them. So to speak, but that might just be me being bare anal. If that makes sense. Because that's just, you know, I when I think of a bear, I think of a bear and having its head like right behind this big, thick fucking neck and it's like sort of thing. That's what I think of when I think of a bear. Okay. Secondly. It's a good fucking stethoscope. It kind of feels like the stethoscope is going through his paw. And I think it's... I know how it's meant to be there, but because of how silly bear paws are, I would actually say it would be more worth it to have it be up here in his big stupid meaty claws and like very obviously be like this and he's bare barely <laughs> barely holding on to it sort of thing yeah like little bear fingies because they do use those hands as fingies a hundred percent they absolutely do. And it's great. They use them to pick berries, and it's amazing. You are... You do have one too many toes. Because I added a toe because there's a claw right there. I see. I see what happened. I see what happened. We'll, we'll just remove this and this and 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 fix it a little bit it's fine it's fine it, it's partially my fault so i'm not gonna fault you on it by any means bear got big ass toes bear's got big old big ass toes I also realized that you gave him five toes, and that was probably also the confusion. I would say your better bet... Let's look up a bear paw real quick. <laughs> they do have five. You know what? I was wrong. I will take the L. I was wrong. They have five. In a lot of cases. Huh. 
I did. I did just get bared. All right. Anyway, so I would just say, for the most part, maybe we just define some toes a little bit and have the stethoscope up here simply because it makes a little bit more sense to be in between their bare fingy, fingy bits. And this kind of comes across a little bit more as it's inside of his foot. In fact, I thought it was extremely hard to see at first because I thought it was one of his toes. So, also don't bears have webbed toes to help swimming or whatever? One other thing. This is just kind of floating, whereas stethoscopes tend to want to stay closed because that's how they stay on your neck. So I would just do that, honestly. Just that. Because it's putting pressure into the fur. It's not like it's just sitting there. So there's that. I would also maybe say consider not using gray to shade white because as soon as you wind up doing that, it just looks a little bit muddy. And I will show you what I mean. I would argue that is still white, for example. I would still argue that that is white comparatively to this side, which winds up being a little bit more muddy and gray. I think it's fine to use gray in certain situations depending but to make something readable and interesting and pleasant to look at using grays and browns to shade is just going to make something look muddy and dirty in most cases other than that i think you're fine i you got the gist of like how to shade from a single light source you have the general gist of fur i would say i would think maybe just a little bit more you know main shading would be probably helpful cast shadows really mostly just you know to sell that it is in fact a 3d object so to speak. Okay, that's, I get that. <laughs> so in the future, I would maybe say do fabric studies um, and don't use gray to shade things. That's it. That's really it. Hey, Jaeger. Because Honestly, I don't have much else to say. You you took something that looked like it belonged in Castle Crashers and you made it look not at all like that at all. So, you know, props. So we have before and after, before and after. Me and me. Well, actually, hold on. Let me do that again. No, no. Fuck. Fuck off. My brain. My brain. It's mush. It's absolutely mush. It's completely and utterly mush. Anyway. Okay. 
So. Last one. Hi, Sabs. Hi, Sabs. Sabs, you haven't improved at all. What the fuck? No, 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 no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hi, Sabs. Good fucking job. Let me... Uh, let's compliment some shit. We are. So I... Hi, level up. Here, hold on. First and foremost, chat, compliment the hell out of Sabs for me. Uh, secondly, hi. We tend to do Doodle Fort once a month. Currently, we're doing a Doodle Fort, which is basically take the oldest drawing you can find and redraw it so that you can see how much you've improved at this point. We do it once a month through our Discord. Other than that, I normally stream. But for the most part, this is what we tend to do. So you get a theme and you get to draw to it. The line of action is so strong. Here. Dude, Alpha and Nessa was a lot. Y'all want to see my first fucking OC? Hold on. One second. I mean, we could, in theory. All right. Let's see. Uh, current work. There she is. This is my OC. This is the first time I ever drew her. Beta version her was a lot. The fucking CMYK pink for one. The fact that she looks white even though she's not supposed to be. The the hands. The the lack of unifying colors. She was a lot, man. She was a whole lot. No, you're good, Jaeger. Have a good night. All right. I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, so, so, Sabs. Literally, there's nothing I could say that Chad hasn't already said. So I'm just going to yell at you now. <laughs> the only, there's two things that I have an issue with. And one is proportion. And you, all right. Cool. All right. Sure. One second. Hold on. Let me just. Okay. I've ended Sabs for one whole second. <laughs> so the only two things that I'm going to have an issue with are your proportion and your shapes. That's it. I, I do think he would be fine. Also do. Well, okay. Not that way. Jesus. I think he would be fine. Like this, personally, uh, it's personal preference, it's whatever. <laughs> Good night, Jaeger. Thank you for the 800. You guys don't have to give me things during Doodle Fort, you know this. Save it for normal streams where I can scream like a little pain in the ass. Okay, so. His head feels like it's the normal size on top of a torso that's the normal size, on top of a stomach that's normal sized, and it's all just kind of squished together. Also, I need to take my pills here in a second, or, I, or I'll die. No, I'm not gonna die, but 
You can't tell me what to do? I can tell you exactly what to do. Because I said so. Yes. Let me take pills real quick. One second, chat. Okay, good news. I'm not going to die anymore. <sighs> yes. Um, it does not have that feeling to me, but that might just be me. It feels a little bit more like he's doing, how do I put it? He's doing this kind of pose sort of thing like he's leaning really really far back and then using his tail as a ballast um so i would say in order to fix that let's go ahead and just take this go cb delete this let me just mess with it a little bit. As I sit here and make the, the, the PP big. <sighs> My mother does not know when to stop. Technically, it is called foreshortening, yes. So, here's my issue. I also suck at foreshortening, honestly. Um, but you would need this part of the body to be bigger than this part of the body for it to be foreshortening. Because, again, talking about layering shapes, if you're going to talk about foreshortening a body, the reality of the situation is that you have the pelvis, right? And then you have the torso. And then you would wind up having the head. You know, and you'd also have leg. You know, and everything, of course, would be getting smaller as you go up, because if that didn't happen, you would basically just be having a low sort of camera angle without the foreshortening. So I would actually say don't worry about making this a low camera angle at all. I would actually argue that it's fine without being a low camera angle. Um, let's see. And then I would maybe open up your mouth a little bit more. just because you don't need it to be facing this way sort of thing. It can be this sort of shape. That's fine. So don't be afraid of sitting there and adding like the roof of the mouth, so to speak. As I sit here and I fuck up this piece real bad. <laughs>
I would actually prefer this to come towards the camera a little bit more than it is. So you have this shape again, and then you have it stacked on top of this, which is stacked on top of the jawbone as well. Nope, went too far. Yes, you could have. So the arms are pretty stiff right now, and that's okay. But they could also be not so stiff. I would also maybe say vary up your fingers maybe a little bit more. They don't need to be exactly doing the exact same things. Me using the liquid tool. Man, this is so great for Doodle Fort. Also, me just draws over it. It's fine. Okay. One last thing. If we're going to stick to basically fucking up this entire picture as much as I am, the torso needs to be longer. That's it. That's it. So. There you go. Okay, any questions? Yeah, the crop top's a good choice, I think. It actually shows off, like, in general, the sort of shape of the torso itself, which is a nice touch. Sorry, I'm just adding in what I know anatomy-wise. Sports bra, gotcha. Also, the easiest way to generally show off parts of the body that may not feel 3D is literally just shading, which can be hard to try to figure out in, you know, 2D cell shade world, but I promise it's possible. Getting your shape language down inside of shading can be a pain, but it is possible. Okay. Any questions at all? I don't mind hands. I hate feet. Feet are just long hands with short fingers. They're really weird. Um, I will say I would have liked to see this actual piece as um the full image, basically. But I think it's fine. I, I basically, I would have rather have redrawn the original instead of going for a completely new thing and making that pose more dynamic. But I think this is fine. This accomplishes exactly what I needed you to. Okay. So you got before and after. Mm -hmm. 
You can see how the head like has like a real ass turn to it. I get that. Makes sense. All right. May I get some clips and shit, please? And thank you. Okay. That's everybody for today. So then in that case, we have to figure out what we're doing for next month. Hmm. Hmm. Let me open up a straw poll real quick. Ah. Ah, next month. I know it can't be the 17th or the 18th because I know Blanco isn't going to have power those days potentially. So... Let's do the 26th, which is a Saturday. So chat, here's my question to you as per usual. What do you want to work on next month? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shit. I suppose that maybe that I've been pretty good at everybody involved in the pre-year teacher and also here's a... Yeah, also here's to another four years. Yeah. We're gonna have a good four years. It's gonna be we're gonna have a great time. Here, y'all can y'all can stare at my cat while we talk about what we're doing next year or month. That's not a cat. That's a cat. <laughs> there you go. It's a cat. Chat, what do you wanna freaking work on next month? Oh my god. I... Mm, fuck, I don't know. I suppose I'm a pretty good friend teacher, I guess. Maybe that goes... Everyone in my class has done so well, it's obvious really a reflection of myself. Obviously. You still need to pick things for us to draw, chat. No, it's words. Just because you can't understand them doesn't mean they're not words. I understand exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, we can revisit that. We did it once before. Ah, shit. We did it once before. And... Flowers. All right. We still haven't done doing cube textures. I remember that. Well, it's always just about like getting the thing you want to happen uh, voted for and voting for not just everything. So. Oh man, my back brace is having a time today. Chat. Look at her. Even if we haven't, I don't mind doing, doing things again. He's such a baby. Jeez. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Look at this cat. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think that this girl, this girl is my everything? That went better than I thought it would. No, you're good. I think those are fine. Um, as per usual, you can make multiple choices. Oop. <laughs> look at them look at them look at them as per usual 
You can vote on as many things as you want to try to learn. Try not to vote on every single one of them. And I will write up the prompt in Noodle Fort in the Discord. Either tonight or tomorrow or the next day, depending. We'll figure it out. Animal? I mean, yes. We, d we did. We did. I already bring up a poll. So there is that. And keep in mind that you guys need to vote in said poll to be able to do the thing you want to do. This is still really, really good, Zebs. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it another second or two and continue refreshing. Crested, what are you voting for? Just let me know. Gotcha. Okay. So it actually looks like body types will be the one to win, which honestly is a pretty good freaking thing. I'm actually going to have to read up on that. There's a book that I need to read again. Yeah, I mean, if that works for you, go for it. Um, I'm, I'm assuming Barry is still playing Ghost Trick. Potentially. Yes. Um, we also have Dither and Dan and Tiny. Dan is playing Donkey Kong, Dither's playing Minecraft, Barry's playing Ghost Trick. Now, Ghost Trick is really good, but he's in spoiler territory. So, what would you guys like to raid? I will leave it to you. Probably Dan? Okay, we can do that. Because I was supposed to stream with Dan yesterday, but then I thought my power was going out. That's true. Well, we'll raid Kelby next time then, if they're still going, when I'm going. Uh, I will be back. What is today? Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll probably be doing commissions tomorrow. I have some, I have some commissions I need to get done. Y'all have been great. And I am always happy to have you guys here hanging out with me, doing a thing, so. Even Evie says goodbye. She's she's meowing, even though you can't hear her. Yeah. Um, I forgot the, the raid message. Something about bears? Shit, I had a raid message in mind when we were talking about Dr. Bear. You know what? Let's just, let's just page Dr. Bear. Paging Dr. Bear. There you go. Um, Doodle Fort, again, as per usual, if you want to join or be a part of Doodle Fort, it's in my Discord. You can do exclamation point Discord or it's underneath the stream in my info, as well as all the links to my socials and stuff to know when I'm going live and things like that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow sometime. So y'all have a great one. G goodbye. Goodbye. G goodbye. 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 G goodbye. <laughs>